Hey, welcome back. Today we're making aircraft hoses. These are high pressure lines, often used brake lines, oil lines, and other hydraulic applications. Let's get to it. Before you begin, make sure you have everything you need. All your uh, raw materials, your parts for the hoses, measuring equipment, tape of some sort to wrap the ends, a set of mandrels, the appropriate safety equipment, a grinder works nicely, and something to hold the hose. Of course, you also need some basic wrenches depending on what size mandrels you need. Once you've got your lengths determined, go ahead and mark out where you need to make your cut. Make sure you have a stable and safe way to hold the hose before you make your cut and use appropriate safety gear. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'm just using a regular angle grinder with a uh, metal cutoff wheel. If you're careful and do a good job, you'll get a really nice clean cut on the hose, which is what you want. And you want it to be as square as possible. Next, we can remove the tape and install the fittings. So you wanna make sure this edge is clean. If there's any uh, fraying, you can always just trim it up just a little bit with some scissors, but it doesn't make that big of a difference. Next thing we want to do is put this fitting onto the hose. It's going to thread on, but it's important to note that this is a left-hand thread, which means when you screw it on, it's not the normal righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. It's backwards, so you got to turn it to the left to screw it on. And then you want to make sure that you go all the way so that the hose goes all the way inside and meets the very end of the fitting and you can do most of it by hand but you need a wrench for the very last bit so once it won't turn anymore the nut is run down all the way on the outer hose sleeve material and you can look inside and you can see that the inside diameter of the hose is butted up against the very edge of the fitting. That's how you know it's on all the way. Last thing we have to do is install the nut and the flare fitting, and we're gonna move inside to do that. So this is where you select your appropriate size mandrel. In this case, it's a number four. When you buy these fittings, they come separate. You have to make sure that you put the flare fitting inside of the B-nut, and then install that onto the mandrel. And we're gonna wanna get this wrench tight before we insert this into the hose. And I went ahead and wrapped the anodized fitting so that when I put it in the bench vise, it won't mar it up. Okay, I've got the mandrel installed inside of the flare fitting and the B-nut. I still need to tighten them down. I've got the uh, hose fitting clamped into my bench vise. And I've got half inch drive ratchet for torque and I'm gonna try to press and turn at the same time but this is where I want to tighten up that nut so that the mandrel and the nut are like one piece now I'm gonna push down and try to get the flared fitting to start threading. There it goes. And now it's driving the mandrel, the flared fitting, and the nut into the hose. You don't want to go all the way. You want to leave a tiny little gap so the nut can still spin, just about a sixteenth of an inch. Take the mandrel out, remove the hose and the tape.
And there's our high pressure brake line or oil line or whatever kind of aircraft hose you need to make. Good up to about 3,000 PSI. This is an AeroQuip 300 hose. I'll put a link to the parts in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.